in this past seven years that this has come to fruition. Um, this bigger facility just means more and more people can be served through the ministry. Um, and it means that more, more kids, no matter what their reason is for wanting to come, will be able to reap the benefits of um, growing in a similar way that my daughter grew. My son Brandon has benefited from participating in the Wings of Hope Rancher sessions in a lot of ways. Um, he loves to be in control and he loves to do things without mom. And so coming here has been his kind of special spot. It's been his favorite place to come because he gets to leave me and go with his volunteers. And he has gained so much horse knowledge being here, something that I don't know about. Um, and he loves getting to come and groom the horses and ride the horses. And he loves to come out afterwards and tell me all the new things that he has learned while he's been here. So each horse that comes here has a really compelling story of how they were broken, how they were hurting, and then how here at the ranch they're able to fulfill a higher calling, which is um, ministering and helping um, children and people. And so in the horse world, a lot of times we measure a horse's value by their athleticism or their achievements. But here at the ranch, we recognize that the highest calling, the most important job that they have can be to make a difference in someone's life. Wings of Hope was founded by two women, one Allison Boyd, and she is still uh, active founder at, at Wings of Hope Ranch. Allison apparently always wanted to have this type of, of ranch, and it started apparently with one horse and one child. My child is Lily Guidry. She has been coming here for seven years, so she just finished sixth grade, and we originally came because I thought riding horses would be really good for her core strength. She has a genetic syndrome that, who's the primary symptom of is low muscle tone. And so I had done some research and read that horses would really help her core. And so I was thrilled when I learned about Wings of Hope and we started coming. So that was our initial thought that that would be the benefit of her being here. What I did not count on was that her overall confidence really boosted she became very, very attached to the horses, created these bonds and relationships with the horses and the volunteers where like we were never allowed to miss the session. Um, this was the most important thing for her. And so she has benefited emotionally, spiritually, socially, and physically from being here at the ranch. My son Brandon has demonstrated a lot of positive changes since being here at Wings of Hope. Physically, it's helped make him stronger and work towards meeting some of his physical therapy and occupational therapy goals. It's helped increase his core strength and just really allowed him to practice some of those skills here, doing something fun like taking care of and riding the horses. Socially, he loves just getting to chat with the volunteers as he's riding. It helps things come out that they can talk about that he wouldn't normally willingly talk about. And afterwards, it's helped increase his communication skills and just telling me what he's done here because normally, like any typical boy, he would say he's done nothing or he doesn't know. So it's really helped um, bring to light this communication skills as well as his confidence. He loves being able to tell me about the things he's learned here and it helps him have control over something and just bring out this caretaker skills and help him develop his empathy skills as well. This is a place where everybody belongs and that is rare, really. Lily and I both are going to be training to be volunteers this summer because this has had such an impact on us and I think the other sisters are going to come along for the ride because they have seen the impact that it's made on their sister and want to be a part of that. Research shows interacting with horses leads to decreased stress, reduced levels of anger, tension and anxiety, improve social functioning and increase feelings of empowerment, trust, patience, and self-efficacy. 
I started out working sessions, which uh, we take uh, children and teach them about how to tack and cl uh, clean off a horse uh, and let them ride, and also uh, teach them a, a Christian lesson with the horses. Then when we came to the newborn, I lived so close uh, by that I decided I needed to do some barn chores. So I do barn chores on every Monday morning and then I sub for people that go on vacation or are sick. And my goal is just to give back. I found out through experience that if you have a catastrophic illness, it's something in you that gives you the desire to give back all you can. So I'm combining my love and knowledge of horses with children. And when I give back, it's, it's just a pleasure. The sessions involve six days a week, anywhere from eight to 10 weeks. And it's right now twice a year. We have them in the spring and in the fall. It involves uh, about 80 volunteers during that whole session, and we usually have 40 to 50 ranchers. So it's quite a, quite a lot to manage, and that's what my role, that's what I'm charged with right now, and I'm fairly new in this role. Absolutely loving it, and I'm up for the challenge, and I have a lot of help. The people here are amazing. The volunteers just step up to the plate all the time. God grew this program to have over 100 volunteers and now we're able to serve over 125 children each year through sessions and through one-time opportunities to let them come to the ranch, interact with horses and adults and just really, really learn the plans that God has for their life here. We are now blessed to be located on 50 acres in Western Hanover. We're based out of Doswell, but really close to Beaver Dam and Montpelier, which is where our roots are. We have 10 horses now and just a, a beautiful barn that God's provided with 14 stalls, a covered arena, and just every tool that we could need to serve the children who come here. I came with my daughter. My daughter wanted to volunteer and um, we live 40 minutes away so I was hesitant because of that my husband said just go you don't you don't know what to expect so and I've, I've never left um, it was three years ago and she was volunteering and so I brought her and I was with Allison's session and I would watch and listen to Allison every time I heard Allison talk I cried and so I spoke to Allison after one of the sessions and I said I, I I want to get involved. I need to do more here. And she said, well, volunteer. And so I did. So I started volunteering with my daughter, Leah. Then I went to Allison again. I said, I need, I need to be more involved. So she said, well, we're looking for a bookkeeper. So I started doing the bookkeeping. And I have done that now for three years. And I've just prayed over that last two, two and a half year period that my other job would somehow go away or meld into something else. And Last year, that happened, <laughs> and at the same time, the program director was stepping down. It was right within the same week, so I knew that was God answering my prayer. I'm Sarah Bowen. I'm the barn manager here at Wings of Hope. For most of my horse experience, I've been working at a summer camp, so I've kind of already been working with kids and horses. I mean, this was really like the dream job for me was finding this. So if you're interested in getting involved at the ranch, we would love to have you out for a tour. We offer tours at least once a month, and our tours are just an opportunity to come get to know us, see our facility, meet the horses, and learn about all our different volunteer activities, as well as the opportunities for ranchers to come here and be part of our programs. Um, so a tour is really simple, it's just an hour to two hours of your time, um, and just get familiar with the, with the ranch and with the horses and the programs, and see if this might be a place that you'd like to, to belong to.